So here we have a 2006 Mercedes-Benz CLK 350. And these are becoming absolutely excellent value. The CLK 350 has the 200 kilowatt V6 engine coupled with the seven speed gearbox. So it's actually got a significant amount of power yet a very good fuel consumption. This car has a very good service history with every single service done on this car right up to 99,000 kilometers at a Mercedes-Benz dealership. It's an elegance, it's got memory, electric seats, navigation, parking sensors front and back. It's got two remote keys to the car and it's got these beautiful sport wheels which for me personally are the best looking wheel on the CLK series. Um, I have driven it, in fact I drove it home overnight when we picked it up and it just drives beautifully. I'm sure it's helped by the very nice Continental Conti Sport tyres and the fact that it's got the big three and a half litre V6. A lot of people ring and they say, Phil, I'm looking at a CLK320, I'm looking at a CLK350. They, they look the same, what's, what's the difference? Well, the difference is the 320 generally has the five-speed gearbox and has about 160 kilowatts. And obviously the 350's got the three and a half litre engine with the, uh, with the seven-speed gearbox. The CLK320 was also a single timing chain car. This has twin timing chains. Zircon silver with black leather interior is obviously a very good colour combination to have. And as I said, in terms of value, for just over $20,000, with a full Mercedes book, spare keys, plenty of registration in New South Wales, I really do think it represents incredible value. And the other good thing is that if you bought something like this for just over $20,000 and you had it for two or three years, it's going to hold up in terms of value. The good thing about Mercedes-Benz is there's a new price. They come down quite significantly from new, obviously, like this one has. But unlike cheaper cars, I won't name them, but you know, Chinese cars and things like that, they'll just go down right down until they're literally worth $100. If you look in the, on car sales, you'll see Mercedes-Benz, you'll see a 300 CE from 1987 or 1988 for $10,000. So the good thing about these is they've sort of had their drop. You can enjoy it for two or three years. You're not going to deal with that significant loss in terms of resale. If the car's looked after, if you lose your spare key, you don't service it. You put cheap tyres on it and you scratch all the wheels and dent every panel, then obviously it is going to lose its value. But this is a very good example, and it's just so nice that it's been so well cared for. It's even got the factory Mercedes-Benz mats. We're only 20 minutes from the airport, as you can hear the plane going over. But for me personally, what I think is great about this car is Continental tyres, two keys, Benz book, colour, update, 350 engine, seven speed gearbox, and it's really all upside. So when you buy a second hand car like this, they're generally worth what they're worth. So if you found another CLK with similar kilometers, it's probably gonna be about $20,000. It's got half a logbook, no spare key, no rego. There's possibly money going on it or whatever. So I think it's good to look around and find a good example like this one. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we look forward to hearing from you.